What's going on people, it's Casey from casey-sounds.com Today's video is how to gain stage like a boss in Logic Pro Got a request from Zillin Music on my Instagram and he requested that I do a video on how to gain stage So here is how you gain stage in Logic Pro I'm going to show you both on audio files and MIDI files So first of all, you need to turn on pre-fader metering To do this you go, you click in the grey space and right click which is control and click and then turn on pre-fader metering hit ok pre-fader pre metering on yet but this is this little icon here before I turn pre-fader metering on just want to show you what actually happens you've got the channel fader and then you've got your level meter when you turn on pre-fader metering it switches so you've got your level meter first and then, you, and then your channel fader. So this means that you're setting your levels before it hits the fader. Which is what you want. Because that's the whole idea of gain staging. So here's another thing as well with pre-fader metering turned on. You don't have to have all your, your channel faders up. You can have your channel faders turned down and still see the levels. So that's with everything turned on. You can still see levels. If I turn pre-fader mirroring off, you won't see anything. So we turn pre-fader mirroring on. So what you want to do is each individual instrument and sound you want to get it to hit around minus 18 dBFS on each channel fader. So we're going to go with the drum rack, highlight the instrument or the sound, solo, and then we can just use the gain here on the left and pull it down to about minus 18 dBFS, minus 8, 18 dBs. It doesn't have to be exact minus 18, you can have it roughly cool. And we do that left rack as well, bring that down. Minus 16 is cool, but if you want to be precise, let's bring it down to. Minus 14 on there on the gain. Um, so what I would do in this mix session, I would do that for each individual sound. I won't bore you and show you me doing all of it. I'll just quickly run through it and then come back to it. So now I've got all my levels ready. Everything's hitting at minus 18 dBs, and I'm ready to mix. So that's how you that's how you gain stage using audio files. So I just want to quickly show you how you can gain stage using MIDI files. So I'll just quickly play this MIDI part in. Shift and R so you don't have to press record. Nice little tip for you. So this is C. So you can see we're peaking at minus 11. So there's two ways you can turn that down. You can go straight to the instrument, which would probably be the best thing to do, but the best bet. So you can turn it down to minus 16 dBs on that fade out, or you can use your trim plugin, your game plugin on in Logic. So we turn that back up to the, there and then we can just turn the gain down using that plugin. <clears throat> so that's how, that's the way to, to gain stage using um, for your instruments. You can either turn it down by the actual plugin itself or you can use a gain, the gain, uh, the gain plugin <laughs> in Logic or any type of gain plugin. 
that you've got so yeah that's just how you gain stage in logic pro just to quickly recap well first of all you need to turn on pre-fader metering and then you need to just highlight your file and go to the gain on the left and turn it down or turn it up and hit around minus 18 dBs or minus 16 in between that ballpark minus 20 minus 16 in between then you and you're good if there's any other questions you've got on how to gain stage hit me up in the comments below or hit me up on instagram uh, yeah make sure you follow me on instagram i'm always posting little tips and tricks that i don't always get to put on my uh, on youtube if this video helped you at all please hit that like and subscribe button i appreciate that as per usual i appreciate your time thank you for watching music is life peace Thank you.